Okay, so here's how this works out. If you notice, we have numbers here on the side and percents all along here. And what we're trying to do is find the percent of a number. Excuse me just a moment. So, for example, we're trying to find 10% of 60, 10% of 40, 10% of 35. That's what we're trying to do for each column. Let's start, first start off and write some rules. 10% means you move it, you remember, one space. One space. And 1% was two spaces. All right, what about 2%? 2% is just 1% plus 1%. It's two 1%. How about 5%? That's half of 10%. Okay, see if that makes sense to you. Okay, let's try 11%. Do you remember 11% is just 1% and 10% together? To find 15%, 10% and 5%. It's like 10 cents and 5 cents makes 15 cents. 10% and 5%. About 70%. Isn't that just 7 times 10%? It's 7 10 percents. 80%. Isn't that good? It's going to be 8 Ten percent? Ninety percent. That's just nine ten percent. And a hundred percent, that's just the number, right? That's the whole thing. And fifty percent is just half. Half of the number. This is the whole number. This is half of the number. Okay, so if you have those little rules to remind you, then this should be fairly simple. So let's kind of back up a little bit. Okay, so let's go ahead to let's find 10% of each number. Now, don't highlight like I did. Just hold off for a second. So 10% of 60, I just moved the decimal over, right? Just one space. 40, by the way, the, the decimals are there on the right. So 10% of 40, 10% of 35, 10% of 120, And that's the way we do 10%. Okay, let's go ahead now and do 1%. Okay, so now let's find 1% of 60. 1% of 60 is, let's see, remember you have to move the decimal over one, two spaces. So it is, all right, let's find 1% of 40. I move the decimal two spaces. For the next, for 35. For the 120, move the decimal two spaces. Okay, so now that we've figured out 10% and 1%, we do not need 
anything else. So we could use find everything by using 10% and 1%. Okay, so let's look at, um, let's find 2%. It's 1% and 1%. 1% and 1.6 and 0.6. Isn't that, wait a minute, is it that? So the question becomes this, this is a mistake I see a lot of, is it 0.12? Is that the answer? No, it's not. The answer is 1.2. 0.6 and 0.6 is 1.2. Remember, you have to carry over. All right, let's do um, 0.4 twice. 0.4 and 0.4 would make 0.8. And let's see, forget this one here. You don't have to do that. The next one, 1 1.2 and 1.2 would be 2.4. Okay, so I'm just doubling the 1%, and that's how I get 2%, 1% and 1%. All right, let's go to 5%, 5%. 5% is just half of 10%. So let's see, half of 10%, half of 6 would make... Half of four would make half of twelve would so you don't have to do this one. Half of twelve would be and there you go. That's how you find five percent. It's half of ten percent. Half of ten percent. Okay, let's find um the next one, 11%. That's 10% and 1% together. So that's going to be 6 and 0.6. That would make 6.6. .6. The next one, 4 and 0.4. The next one, 3.5 and 0.35. What is it? Next one, 12 and 1.2. Remember, I'm taking these two, 12 and 1.2. So I'm 13.2. So that is how you find 11%. 1% and 10% makes 11%. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the 70%, 80%, 70, 80, and 90%. Let's do those right now. So we want 7, 10%. 7, 10%. Well, 10% is 6, isn't it? 10% is 6, 10%, so 7 of those, 7 times 6 would make, all right, to find 80%, we need 8 of those, that would just be 8 times 6, now we need 9 of those, 9 10%, that's 9 times 6. Notice how it's counting up by 6 each time. What's 100%? What's the whole number again? It was 60. 60 was the whole number. And what is half of that whole number? There you go. All right, let's try another one. Let's try it for the next number. The next number we have is for 40, for 40 here, all right? Well, 10% is four. To find 70%, it's 
seven of those. So seven times four. Seven times four, right? Because I want seven of these, seven ten percent. Seven times four is? Now we need eight of those. Eight times four is? Now I need nine of those. Nine times four is? All right, now we need 10 of them, or the whole thing. The whole number was 40. And then 50% is half of 40. And that's how that works. All right, let's go on to the next one. I'll do 120 with you. All right, so we want 70%. So seven, seven of these right here seven twelves seven times twelve is seven times twelve is all right eight times twelve is nine times twelve is All right, 10 times 12 is, right, it's a whole number. The whole number was 120. Now, what's half of that number? There you go. Okay, I'm going to let you do the rest on your own. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to pause the video. Then we're going to start it up after about 20 minutes, and we'll do the bottom half together. Okay, let's start this uh, together. I'll do most of it with you so you get the hang of it. Now, what I like to do is take the, the biggest number up on top and reduce it with the number on the bottom. Do you notice that we have 100 and we have 80? 20 will go into both those numbers. 20 goes into 100 five times. 20 goes into 80 four times. Okay, now here's the tricky part. It's no longer 100 there. It's, it's now 5. But do you notice that 5 and 40, four, 5 goes into both of those. You see that? 5 will go into both of that. 5 goes in here once. And 5 goes into 40 eight times. I know, you're thinking, well, could I do that twice? Yeah, you can, because it's now a 5. And 5 goes into 40 eight times. 8 times 4 is? And there's our answer. So it's like we're reducing it twice. Let's do the same thing with the next one below. I know that 20 will go into both of those. You're going to find that we use 20 a lot. 20 goes into 100, and 20 goes into 120 six times. Okay, but doesn't 5 go into 30? Won't 5 go into 30 there? 5 goes into 5 once. 5 goes into 30 six times. So all you have now is 6 times 6 over 1. 6 times 6. There's our answer. Okay, so it's like you're reducing twice. I always like to take care of the big numbers first. Um, so I will do 90 and 100 because 10 goes into both of those. 10 goes in here, 10. 10 goes 100, 10 times. 10 goes into 90, 9 times. Hey, and doesn't 10 go into 50? 10 goes into 10 once, 10 goes into 50 five times. So all you have left is 9 times 5 on top. Okay, the next one. Let's see. Um, I could do a hunt. I could do five into both of those. Uh, let's just take care of this first. 
because I know that 10 goes into both of those. No, 20 goes into both those. Excuse me. 20 goes in here, 5, and 20 goes into 20 once. And I know that 5 will go into 135. Okay, I know it goes in 20-something times. 27? Yeah, I believe that's correct. 27 times. And 1 times 27. And this is just a 1, right? Because 5 goes in there once. So the answer is just... On the bottom, I, I believe we have 7 and 35. That can be reduced. 7 goes in there once. 7 goes in there 35. And doesn't 5 go into 80? 5 going to 80. 5 goes in there once, and 5 goes into 80. How many times? I believe it's 16. Yep, I think that's correct. 16. So 1 times 16 is? Okay, let me just do a couple of more. One, two, three. So I'll do one more with you. Uh, let's see, I have 40 and 100. 20 will go into both of those. 20 goes in here twice on the bottom. And on the top, 20 goes in there five times. Hey, doesn't 2 go into 28? Half of 28? Right? 2 goes in there once. 2 goes into 28. So now I can multiply those together. 14 times 5. What would that be? 14 times 5. I believe the answer is... Okay, so you can do those. Let's go to the side. I'll do a couple of these. Okay, it's just like before. We're just reducing. Notice I have 5 and 10. 5 goes in there once, goes into 10, and then don't I have 2 and 12? 2 goes in there once, 2 goes into 12, 6. So that leaves me with 2 over 6, and that can be reduced to, and there's our answer. Now, on the next one, is there anything I can reduce? Cross cancel. Cross reduce. Nothing. Nothing. So I'm just going to go straight across. So 9 times 4 is. And 11 times 11. And that's it. If it cannot be reduced before, it cannot be reduced now. Okay. And then you can finish the others.